President Trump's offer to reopen the government goes up for a vote in the Senate tomorrow. This bill would reopen the government. He's offering temporary protection for one million immigrants, refugees, and dreamers, those brought here illegally as children, in exchange for $5.7 billion for the border wall. Straightforward, fair, reasonable, and common sense with lots of compromise. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other Democrats call it a non-starter. It's outrageous, and he's just playing politics, and this is a bad deal. It was a... Uh, I think an effort to prop up the uh, president's sagging poll numbers. Despite support from some Republicans. Well, I think the president's put a reasonable compromise on the table. Some conservatives are calling the president's offer amnesty for immigrants. No, amnesty is not part of my offer, he tweets, adding thank you to the 800,000 unpaid federal employees caught up in this shutdown. And separately, the president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, revealed on Meet the Press that negotiations over that Trump Tower they were trying to build in Russia were going on a lot longer than anyone's admitted so far, possibly, Giuliani says, all the way through Election Day in 2016, despite the president saying he had no business dealings in Russia. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington.